Hey everybody, it's a beautiful day, so I thought that I'd record a little something because it's been a while. And I wanted to consider with you a little bit what's going on uh, in the kingdom in the United States. You know, there's this experience of the presence of God starting in Asbury College, but it kind of flow into a number of places around the country. I've talked to some people in Boston who are experiencing a little something. Just talked to somebody in New Hampshire. Their church is having 24-hour uh, day worship. Uh, God is moving, and I wanted to talk to you about a few things of how to live during this time. First of all, let's think about how to pray and how to pray for God's continue mo continued movement, I think, is really important. First of all, what happens when God moves is that there is a sense of desire to repent. That means to change our mind about everything. Remember that uh, John the Baptist and Jesus said, repent for the kingdom of God is near or the kingdom of God is at hand. The kingdom of God is accessible. It means change your mind about everything. Be willing to put your life in alignment with God. That process somehow opens a door to new things in our spirit. And what happens first is usually this overwhelming awareness and love for the person of God. And, and if you've ever had an encounter with God where you get a sense of who he really is and his love for you, it is overwhelming and it is better than everything in life. So first there's this kind of like repentance door opening. And then second, there's this experience of the love of God the forgiveness of God, the goodness of God, the hope of God. He knows you, you know God. Oh, it's unbelievable. From that space, there comes this also often a love for each other. That's where the corporate gatherings of worship services or in homes or things like that, when we encounter God together over a period of a sh of short time even, there comes this overwhelming kind of love and compassion and seeing each other deeply in terms of weaknesses and strengths, but there's a, a desire to see each other prosper and flourish. Bible calls that fellowship or koinonia. It comes actually from heaven. We can try to do it, but when it comes from God, it's an overwhelming desire for it, mixed with some uh, organization is a good thing. And then lastly, is the uh, out of the love for each other comes this cooperation with each other to do the things God wants to do on the earth, whether that is to open new businesses or schools or ways of doing things. There's often this transformation that follows up on the work of God that opens new doors, sets people free, puts things that are out of order in order from the synergy of people coming together. So that's what I want to encourage you to be praying about. And if you get a chance, connect with something where you sing the power of God. But I also want to talk to you about something else that's almost the opposite. And that is, as I look around, the pandemic still were in a hangover stage. I think it may last for a couple years of people not knowing exactly how to relate to each other. We've been isolated. We want to be connected to each other, but we're afraid. We're not exactly sure how to do that. One, that's a great atmosphere for God to move powerfully. So keep praying about that. But two, you don't have to just wait passively. You can be praying, do that, but you can also be living. And here's just a suggestion of how you can be living. I want to encourage you to consider the roles that you live in in your life. Could be a father or a mother or a sibling or a child. Uh, it could be that you, in your workspace or relationship, in your neighborhood or in your work, take time. This is an assignment. Take time to consider each one of your roles and now recognize that Jesus, that the triune God has placed you where he's placed you in the roles that he's placed you in, in order to advance his kingdom in those roles among those people. So I want to encourage you to pray specifically into the spheres of influence, into what I'll call the fields of your favor where God has placed you. Start to pray and release the kingdom of God into those spaces. Start to define them in fresh ways. And that too will multiply what God's doing around the, the earth. So with those things in mind, I want to encourage you. This is a good time for us to be praying, looking around, remodeling our lives, and... <clears throat> If 
that's something that you realize that 2023 is a year like that for you, I do want to remind you that's why I'm on the earth, is to help people get clear, get focused, and to be miraculously fruitful in the world. That's why I live, is to help people to do that. If you're interested in that, just DM me. We can set up a time and talk about what might be beneficial for your next steps. Have a great day. The kingdom of God is accessible now. Bye-bye.